no doubt you've seen these bizarre news stories that have suddenly popped up and are everywhere. Maybe you, like me, had relatives sending you copies of this article that I'm about to go over with you saying, keto is dangerous. Look, it's all over the news. It's the heart attacks and will cause you harm, bad things. You may have seen this. It seems that a, in a perfectly obviously coordinated way, all the media outlets and some non meat not what we would think of as media outlets like WebMD and a few other places, have decided to issue an article or publish articles, again, coordinated almost at the exact same time, about a new report that says a keto diet's doubled your risk of having a heart attack or a stroke. Convenient timing, I think. And if you're thinking, man, that, you know, they're finally blaming, you know, certain things going on in the world right now on the keto diet, we knew that was kind of a inevitable thing, if that's actually true, but it could also just be a coincidence. But uh, the coordinated effort of this is ridiculous. This article appeared on CNN and Fox News, WebMD, and a whole host of other sites. I got a phone notification from, I think, the New York Post and the New York Times talking about this. It's everywhere all at the same time, which means that this went out as some sort of brief, and we'll probably find that out here a little bit in some of the deeper details. But is this something you need to worry about? No, come on. <laughs> this is this is not real. This is not real. This is just keto being having the blame placed on it for things done by other people in associated industries. We'll call it associated to the wellness industry. Things probably going back to a couple years ago and things that were forced upon everybody at that time. Let's go over the WebMD version of this article, though, because while people will see Fox or CNN and immediately filter it from their idiot with filter it through their own idiot personal ideological lenses, whether they lean politically left, right, or center, WebMD has a lot of cachet for people for some reason. So, headline from WebMD: Keto diet doubles the risk of heart attack, stroke. Study published on March sixth, so a couple days ago. This article is a doozy, and again, if you haven't heard about it yet, you're going to hear about this from friends, if not other com you know, keto and carnivore commentators going over this. When inevitably people send you this study, you should remind them that single studies don't actually show anything. The single studies show relationship between variables, and they collect data, and they present data to scientists and policymakers that should then be tested in future studies repeatedly until a pattern emerges that shows that the study was done validly and that there is really something there to the relationship. But unfortunately, we live now in a world where people give a lot of credence to peer-reviewed studies, to academia, and to the scientific community. And this credence and this weight of authority given to them is done by people who don't understand what these people do anyway or their own methodologies, or even the basics of the scientific method. One study isn't enough to scare you away from everything. It shouldn't be enough to lead you away from carnivore or keto or whatnot. Not one single study should do that. This is just a study that collected data based on a diet that's not even a keto diet anyway, and it's a single study based on pre-existing notions have long since been debunked anyway, the dangers about cholesterol and the rest of it. So don't let one study be used to hammer you into submission to back into a standard American diet that is unsustainable when you go for it. So from the article, quote, keto diets can more than double the risk of serious heart problems, a new study shows. People who ate foods high in fat and low in carbohydrates were more likely to have higher cholesterol and experience heart attacks or strokes compared to people who followed a standard diet. Keto diets were also associated with a double risk of needing procedures to open up clogged arteries. Our study found that regular consumption of a self-reported diet low in carbohydrates and high in fat was associated with increased levels of LDL cholesterol, or quote-unquote bad cholesterol, and a higher risk of heart disease. Researcher Lilia Latan, MD, PhD, says in a statement, To our knowledge, our study is one of the first to examine the association between this type of dietary pattern and cardiovascular outcomes. Presented this week at the American College of Cardiology's annual meeting, the study evaluated health data for 305 people from the United Kingdom, 
who were identified because they reported eating a keto-like diet during a 24-hour period at the beginning of the study. That group was compared with 1,220 people who were similar in age but who ate a standard diet. The study defined keto-like diets as having no more than 25% of daily calories from carbohydrates, well, that's not a keto diet, and getting more than 45% of calories from fat. Most people in the study were women, 73%, tended to be overweight, and the average age was 54. Researchers then analyzed health outcomes for the people of, for nearly a 12-year period. End quote. You see the problem with this study. Okay, so these were people who were already in bad health and in that age range where heart attacks were likely. And they found this group of people was at a higher chance of having a heart attack than others. I could have told you that. A couple problems here. A keto diet does not have 25% of your calories from carbohydrates. A traditional ketogenic diet has a 5% of your calories from carbohydrates. And if you want to call a carnivore diet a ketogenic diet, then you're getting from 5% down to 0 to 0.1%, counting the trace carbohydrates in eggs and cheese. And 45% of your calories from fat, you need to be at least above 50%, probably. Otherwise, you're starting to not get the very basic benefits of a ketogenic diet, like fat adapt adaptation, which enables fat burning. But this article, I mean, it does the most basic thing that we've seen many, many, many times. So don't worry about this, okay? It repeats the long debunked lie that cholesterol is bad. It's not the cholesterol that's bad. It's really like the, the Randall cycle, and it's these other factors that go into things. It's the effects of these processed foods that cause these problems for people. But it's not eating a high-fat Low carbohydrate ketogenic diet. So, keto on, as they say. Don't let the study get you down. Don't let the study make you second guess what you're doing. You are on a proper human diet if you're doing keto or carnivore. And for some reason, the powers that be just don't like that very much. Maybe it's because when you're on keto and carnivore, the chances that you're going to need to spend all that money on medical support goes down dramatically, despite what these silly studies say. This isn't the last of these we're going to see. You're probably going to get harassed a lot by family and friends who are worried about, you know, you eating two ribeyes a day or whatever version of carnivore you do. And they're going to try to have an intervention and they're going to wave this in your face. Don't worry about it. If you're really worried about your cholesterol, find a carnivore and keto-friendly doctor, one who doesn't come at it completely with a bias against the diets from the get-go, or at least one who's open to it and who understands the actual key to understanding whether your cholesterol is actually a problem or not is the ratio between the HDL and the LDL cholesterol levels and actually have them take your cholesterol tests and actually go over those ratio numbers with you to see if there's a problem. It probably isn't. And if there is a problem, maybe a little exercise will help. But don't worry about this new study. This is going to cause waves. We already know this. Let me know what you thought of this study in the comments, please. Like and subscribe if you haven't. It does help. As does sharing this on social media. That helps, too. I'm Anthony Stein, the Practical Carnivore. Keep on your keto or carnivore diets, folks. Don't jump ship because of one badly, laughably designed study. Thanks for tuning in today.